Hey geniuses, Cope here with uh, Wolf uh, to do video 0 0.3. Um, in this video, I'm going to introduce to you the college application essay. This is the first essay that you're going to write um, for IB English HL. And the hope is that you're going to actually use this essay as you apply to colleges. So look at the colleges where you want to apply. What are their prompts? What are they asking you to write for their essay? And go ahead and use that. Um, unless they say don't have any specifics, then you can just use the general prompt, which I'll show you in a sec. The objective of this video, students will be able to read good samples to understand what college application essays look like. All right. Um, this is... Um, <laughs> Uh, showing you what some of the, how some of the questions are really kind of ridiculous, right? And I don't know if you've started reading that, them yet or if you read the uh, common app questions. I don't know, I, I kind of like these actually, to be perfectly honest. Uh, this, this one is my favorite, I think. Anyway, no, yours are going to be a little bit less silly than these. And um, our main question really as we're going through this video is what is a college application essay? So you got a couple of notes to take in your packet. And the first is a, the definition of college application essay. Um, well, simply put, it's an essay that most colleges um, require you to read or write. Um, and they actually use these essays to determine if they're going to accept you into the college. College application essay questions typically ask students to write about a significant experience that has changed their lives. That's really the, the key. And um, <clears throat> I think the main pitfall that students have is that they don't take this to heart because if you think about writing um, about a significant experience, you they're basically asking you to share a story with you, something that has happened to you. And that's what you wanna do for a college application essay. It'll feel different than the other kinds of essays you've written for English um, because it's really gonna be more of a story than anything else. Oops. <laughs> <clears throat> and so these essays give students a chance to express themselves and distinguish themselves as unique and desirable candidates for admissions. You are writing about something that you haven't already covered in your application or your, you know, um, your grades, your accolades, all of those things. It's, it's more personal. All right. So the general prompt for the college application essay for this class is this. Please write an essay that tells us more about you. You may want to write about people who have influenced you, situations that have shaped you, difficulties or conflicts with which you have struggled, goals and hopes you may have for the future, or something else you consider significant. It's pretty wide open. So you're going to need a little more um, <clears throat> uh, direction, probably, to come up with an idea. And so that's what we're going to be working on starting with looking at samples. So you can use the general prompt or you can use a specific prompt <clears throat> that your college asks or the one, you know, that one of the colleges you're applying to asks you to write about, or you can use one from the Common App. It's really easy to find those online. <clears throat> All right, the key to writing a good college application essay is understanding your audience. And that is what the experts say. They say, um, if you understand who you're writing to, who is going to be reading this essay about you, then you have a clue. Then you have a key into um, how you're going to write it. So I've got seven tips um, coming up here. But um, this first one is sort of before the uh, is before those tips. Um, and it is the fact that the essay is going to be read by your college admissions board. And so imagine if you had to read a stack of essays this high, um, typically they're going to be reading five to 10,000 essays. These are individual human beings who are reading 
essay after essay after essay after essay on the same prompt. So what you're going to have to do is figure out how to distinguish yourself from those other, you know, 4,999 essays or 9,999 essays. What makes you unique? What makes you different? And it's not going to be your GPA, okay? All right. Um, here's the first tip. <clears throat> the first tip is to reveal yourself, the true you. And this is hard. You've been taught in Ivy English to do the exact opposite. Um, and so sometimes it's hard to even know how to do that in writing. Um, those of you who've done some creative writing, this might come a little bit more naturally to you. Um, but don't write in language that you wouldn't normally use. Um, try to avoid writing something that is, is making you sound like someone you're not. What, what should you do instead? Well, you should write a straightforward, interesting essay that says something honest about yourself. It's amazing how much honesty resonates with uh, readers. The second tip, there's not really a list of good things to write about, but be careful in choosing the topic. Thinking about what you have in common with the other 6,999 applicants is a good way to figure out what to avoid writing about. You want to write about something that is unique to you that's going to make you stand out like the Purple Kitty. So um, there are some kind of typical categories of college application essays, and these might work for you. And so I'll go through what these are. The first one is the My Coach or My Parents, Grandparents essay, and you'll see some of these in the samples. Um, they're very common. The only real danger is that they do want to know about you. So if a story about your coach or your parents sheds, sheds light on you, then it can work. The Humorous essay, uh, these are rare and risky, but if the student is an excellent writer and the essay is funny and entertaining, it can mark the candidate as a talented individual, they tell us. Um, sitting under a tree essay. These are essays that describe a moment of profound realization. The key here is to avoid cliches and to be really specific with your point if you're going to take this approach. The transformative experience essay. You'll um, see some of these in the samples as well. These are the I went to France and grew as a person essays. They're common, but they can succeed if they're specific and well written. You here's another tip. The third tip is to use the essay as a chance to explain any bad news or glitches that appear in your application. So maybe you have one semester that's worse than the others, um, something else that doesn't look so great. Maybe you don't have a lot of um, extracurricular activities because you take care of your five siblings every day. Um, things like that you could write about. Um, the fourth tip, limit yourself to one strong point and hammer at home by using clear and detailed examples. Um, so your job is going to be to find, you know, what is this one strong point you want to make and how can you tell a story in order to show that about you? And I think that's key. You don't want to say, you don't want to list 10 different things about yourself. You want to stay focused on one and finding that one that's worth writing about is going to take some time. The fifth tip is to, you know, not put the reader to sleep. Generally, a writer who is revealing something truthful is fascinating to read. Writers who try too hard to be clever can end up just being painful. Best writing is direct and to the point. And you'll have to do this because your essay is only going to be about 500 words long. And then the sixth tip is that colleges tend to evaluate essays on three levels. Level one, your ability to use standard written English, correctly punctuated and error free. Level two, the essay's content, substance and depth of insight, which reflect your ability to think about yourself and to convey your thoughts in writing. And then three, your creativity <clears throat> and originality. It is at this level, says one admission dean, that students can position themselves as unique, as individuals who can bring to the college a freshness of vision and a viewpoint that will enhance its academic and social life. 
So in order to better understand what a good college application essay looks like, I want you to read some samples. There's a link in Schoology 0.3 um, college application essay sample papers, and you're going to click on that. I think there are about 10 essays in there. You need to read three of them and then respond to the questions in your packet. The, one of the questions in your packet is about the criteria. So as you're reading the essays, think about these criteria. They're also listed in your packet um, to, you know, show you, uh, to, to help you kind of come up with the words to describe what makes them good essays. All right, so first of all, it's a, they're about 500 words. About is fine. You know, I don't care if it's 600, that's okay. It's still about 500. Sometimes though, colleges do care and they'll say no more than, then you have to be careful. Thoughtful structure guides the reader through the text is the second criterion. The piece has an unforgettable opening, an engaging middle, and a provocative ending. Three, the essay uses language that is precise, delightful, and thoroughly original. Sentences are lyric, lyrical, poetic, and dance along like a lively script. The voice is as individual as fingerprints and holds readers in wrath. Four, the essay is clear, focused, and compelling. It shows striking insight and takes the reader on a journey of understanding. Is there a five? Yeah, <laughs> free of errors. Okay, so take a look at those uh, sample essays and um, do some uh, do some um, note taking in your packet, and then talk to somebody else about the essays they read, what they liked. Um, and make sure you evaluate them according to the criteria that will be used to evaluate your own essay. So welcome to the first writing assignment. Um, we've got a, you know, a few weeks to get this done, so hang in there. Good luck as you get started by looking at some good samples.